good morning it is monday i did not sleep well oh my god at all definitely had those like sunday scaries because i have a lot to figure out this week but i'm up anyway kind of early let's go run when you buy the wrong foundation color but you're like committed to it okay i just shot a bunch of b-roll shots and now All right, in between editing, I'm taking breaks to start taking photos and getting rid of stuff that I'm not gonna have space for. So, people have left a bunch of stuff in here, I gotta get out. Okay, just been doing the Pomodoro technique, whatever, 25 minutes of filming slash editing, then five minutes of like, basically cleaning. <laughs> now. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop after I eat because I'm getting sick of being at home. Okay, this is for sure a pretty boring vlog, but I'm getting a lot done editing wise, so that's great. But um, came back to do some voiceovers and then send this video to a brand. Okay, ready? I feel like this video is very just okay and I feel that way about all my videos lately like they're just not that much better or cooler but I don't know exactly like I'm definitely having like writer's block like thinking about cool ideas and so if you have any if you have any cool ideas let me know I finished editing completely finished this video now and I figure since I'm moving soon I should like go through my stuff and get rid of things that I don't wear or use so let's do it let's Monica just texted me, move to Seattle, come do real estate. I'm like, look, it's looking really tempting with the real estate market. Um, anyway, so I'm about to collab with Ryan Pineda. He's doing a video um, where he gets financial advice from a bunch of different YouTubers. So he's a finance YouTuber and just like business guy. He has a ton of companies, I guess. Just gonna do a Zoom call interview. Okay, going through getting rid of stuff now. I feel like I have a lot of books, like don't need that many. Okay, so this is stuff for Wasteland and this is stuff for the Goodwill. Got some sushi. Wow, got a lot done today. That was good. It wasn't very fun, but it was good. It's probably kind of boring to watch too. Just, wow, it doesn't get old. I've never seen a roll quite like this. Crab on one side, salmon on the other. Like, I think it was an accident, but it was pretty cool. Okay, got a vlog editing or edited and uploading. Now I have two apartments I'm gonna look at today. The first one is so expensive, it's stupid. Like I could I could do it, I could waste my money on it if it's nice enough and I feel like it has a den. You'll you'll see, you'll see. I mean it's probably kind of dumb to spend that much money on an apartment, but let's just go check it out. It's like 4500 a month, which is just so ridiculous. Okay, I totally thought that I was supposed to meet this guy at 12.30 and it was actually noon and so no one was there. <laughs> so maybe it's not meant to be with the expensive apartment, you know? I probably shouldn't spend that much on rent anyway, it's stupid. Okay, well, gonna sell some clothes, take some stuff to the Goodwill now. Oh, cool. Yeah. In the king bed, you have to have king clothes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I talked to the property management company that I decided to go with um, about the Palm Springs house. She went into the house, looked around, and then talked to me for like 45 minutes about all the stuff we still need to fix. And I here I am thinking, oh, we're basically done, but there's there's so much I didn't even realize. And I was just like getting so overwhelmed and like, no. <laughs> But I think it is, I'm, it actually, I'm glad that she went through because some of it I didn't even think of or notice, but oh my God, I wanted to start crying because I just want to be 
fucking done with this house um, and sell it or something. I mean, I say that, but I don't actually want to sell it. I kind of said jokingly, like, can I just hire someone to do all these things? She was like, oh wait, actually, yeah, I have some handyman people that can do that. And so hopefully we can get it all figured out because that will be much quicker than if me and my dad have to go again. It just ends up taking it. We're not like that efficient at it. Whatever. I. It was a good productive call like we're getting there um i'm just glad this property management girl she like knows what's up she knows how to get it get it there and get it running well but god i'm overwhelmed okay okay note to self my invisalign is in this sunglass case cool Okay, so this apartment I toured with a potential roommate. It was like a townhouse situation. And yeah, I found this potential roommate. She seemed really cool. We got coffee. Um, you can just get a lot more space if you have a roommate. Anyway, this unit was super odd because it was like right on Fairfax. Like, I don't know. The polished concrete, love the polished concrete. Like this is, this looks pretty good. You know, standard apartment, stuff like that. And then walking over into the living room, the living room was like, I would say a little small for it being a kind of townhouse situation. Like it was right, like the kitchen's right there. Like I'm kind of picturing my couch not fitting at all. So, I mean, it would work if I just had a different couch, um, but I'll show you what was really kind of strange about this apartment. So you go down these stairs. This would be if I had like two roommates. It's also because it was like 6,000 a month. I, maybe close to seven. Like it was actually kind of a lot. So down here was a basement sort of thing. It had a little den area, but it was like right on a super busy street. It just felt kind of odd and maybe like a little bit like, I, do, I just don't think I would sleep that well at night if this was my room. Um, it's pretty dim too. Like you could see like people could just kind of like, you know, right on the street. So this one was kind of a no for me for that reason. This one was also pretty cool, but I think it was even more expensive than the other. And it had the same kind of thing where it like the third bedroom was just like a basement on a very, very busy street. So this one was my favorite unit. It was just a two bedroom, two bathroom corner unit, but it was, I think like 6,500, which is so much for a two bedroom apartment. Like we would each have to pay 3000, whatever. And um, this roommate didn't want to pay that much. So it just, it wasn't going to work, but you know, it was pretty nice. It just is kind of like crazy that it's that expensive. Be All right, I'm back home with some sweet green and those apartments, there was one unit that was good. It was like 6,000 something. I don't know. The leasing guy said a lot of people moving from New York don't mind the price and so that's why the prices for things have been higher because more people during covid moved from new york to la i don't really know but i don't think we found the one good morning it is wednesday september 1st which means i have exactly a month to get out of here and i am stressed i just still haven't found a place i think is like worth it i guess like the right one um but i am gonna look at one a little later today at 11. <sighs> i just want to like like move all my stuff now like i just want to get it over with and be done with it you know well anyway i have some edits to do getting this video edited. Okay, I am now going to film with another Tesla YouTuber, Ben Solens from Teslanomics, if you've seen his channel. He rented a Model S Plaid, which is the fastest car in the world, happens to be a Tesla, and was like, hey, do you wanna come record with it? Of course, that sounds so cool, so we're gonna go do that. And that apartment was kind of kind of weird the bathroom i didn't really show it but the bathroom was tiny it was like i don't know i've seen better so i think we can do better all right we're in the model s and it's pretty crazy you guys like yeah you said that you just barely press on it and we were like oh back up against it now okay whatever Oh my god. The 6200 is crazier because you don't expect 
to be able to go that fast at 60. Yeah. Zero, you expect it to be like, yeah, I'm gonna fly off the line. But at 60, you're like, no way, I'm already, no. But it feels the exact same in terms of that acceleration. It's just kind of like a, your mind can't handle it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm having a tough time with the apartment search. There is just, I feel like nothing good available. Even that one place that had the two bedrooms available, the lady just texted me that they both got leased and the only thing they have left are north facing one bedrooms, which are like the worst units in any building because they don't ever get direct sunlight. It's, it's like living in a cave, which is, I feel like bad for your mind and also horrible for filming. Like I just, I couldn't do that. My videos would look horrible. Like, it's not even just that there's not things available. It's like the people that work in these leasing offices don't try anymore. Like I will call a place and no one answers. Like it's as if like one person is working. It's just not how it used to be. Like they'll just take forever to reply. It used to be if you wanted to move somewhere, you could just walk into the leasing office any time of day and go for a tour. And now it's like, there have been places I made an appointment and then the leasing person just didn't ever show up and I called them and they ghosted. And it's just, it's, it's bizarre. It's never been like this here and it's just so frustrating. I swear every time I go to look at an apartment, it gets, super cloudy out and it's been really cloudy out the past couple days so i get there and the apartment looks worse than it normally would because the light is just weird it's just like it just feels like a sign it's like no don't move here i don't know it just feels like it okay so this one was so bright and amazing honestly i loved it it's the best one i've seen so far but it didn't have an ev charger in the garage and they were acting like they were gonna get them installed in a few months and I've just noticed a lot of apartments when they do that they end up like taking a whole year to do it. So I feel like I can't really trust that. Even though I really liked this unit, I don't think that it would work, sadly. Oh, this one was cool. They don't really have anywhere to charge a car and they were talking about how they're working on getting it but it honestly sounded like it sounded iffy. Pausing to eat real quick. Got some avocado toast. I sold the little fridge yesterday because I figured I probably want space for it in my next spot. I know it seems like I'm probably like pretty picky with this, but I just like, I need it. I feel like if I didn't do YouTube, I really would not care nearly as much what my apartment is like, but it's like the lighting and for recording, you just need more space. Like I'm running a business basically out of my home. I need more space than the average person. I'm recording a video for my orthodontist today. Um, I just, I'm really, as you can tell, frustrated. I feel like I've wasted so much time looking at, at apartments and I haven't found anything. And it just is, it's, it's like now it's 10 a.m. and all I've done basically is looked at an apartment and showered and okay so i'm early to my orthodontist to film and the coolest looking unit really similar to that one spanish style one just popped up it's only been online for like five hours so i just called them and i can tour it later and oh my god you guys like if this is available i am going to snatch it because it's two bedroom one bathroom so i could live alone and have an office and yeah it just looks cool so i called and i can tour it later today Okay, let's hope this works. Just finished shooting for my orthodontist's office. And I'm gonna go edit it at a coffee shop and then look at that apartment that looks really cool. My friend Chase, who was in my last vlog showing me how to DJ, he said that a unit opened up in his building too. And he has like the coolest unit. It's a loft and one bedroom. It's like three stories, but it's not as expensive as you would think. The area isn't like the coolest, but I feel like that would actually be a good option too. Cause it's just a really big bright unit. 
and I would have a friend as a neighbor, which would be so much fun. So considering that too, oh, I've just been so anxious and feeling not great this whole day. Pretty much about my apartment situation. Ha, oh, but it was nice to film that. I felt like it was actually pretty fun. Um, but now I feel like so. Okay, so this is the apartment. It is really cool. It's like built in the 1920s Spanish style sort of building. And I just love the character. Like this apartment is amazing, I think. It was like 3,400, I believe, a month. So it's got these really cool windows looking out onto the street and this fireplace thing. But it's updated a bit. Like you can see there's an updated kitchen. Like this kitchen is great, I think. It would totally work, super nice. I think it's good. You know, no complaints here. And then heading over into the rest of the apartment, it was really big, like seriously, probably over a thousand square feet. This was the bathroom, which was like renovated, but kind of weird. I don't know. I thought this, this window just creeps me out a little bit. This is the bedroom, has tons of light, windows on both sides. So that's always great. Just show you a little more of it. Okay, this one, the unit itself, I really liked, but I just got this weird feeling that I wouldn't feel that safe at night because there was an entrance in the back and the front and anyone could kind of walk up to the unit. It wasn't in a building. Probably a lot of people, this wouldn't freak them out, but the area was like a little bit, I just think myself, I want the peace of mind to feel like really safe if I live alone. So even though I really liked that unit, I was like, ooh, I don't, I just don't want to like feel a little creeped out at night it's not worth it you know i'd rather live somewhere else okay just got my lashes done and now i'm gonna have a little co-working day with laura and lauren we're just all bringing our laptops and gonna edit I'm trying to do this more where i get people together to like have co-working days because it's just way too easy to be isolated as a youtuber and you know what we don't need that i don't like that oh my god this looks so good Like happy home. hour moment. Yay! Yay. We already cheers, but you know. You know. Do it this gram. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. We're all YouTubers here. Okay guys, update on the moving situation because I'm editing this vlog a little later. So I did apply to an apartment and I think it would work. I'm not like that excited about it to be honest. I'm like, it's fine. It's one of the ones I showed in this and I'll reveal it later. But yeah, I have a backup plan. I have like movers scheduled, but I also still in the back of my mind want to put my stuff in storage and just go go different places so i don't know the movers that i have actually can just move stuff into storage so i've applied to the apartment and been approved but i haven't like put the deposit down so i have like a backup i have a plan but i'm not committed to it yet and i'm just having a really hard time deciding so i decided to book a flight to seattle tomorrow i'm going i'm gonna think about it while i'm there kind of get away from here and hopefully by the end of that trip i will have it figured out what I'm gonna do. I know Monica's gonna make me tour a condo and try and convince me to buy it, but I don't think I need to be doing that. So that's where I'm at. I don't fully know, but I kind of have a clearer idea. I still change my mind every day. It's so bad. I don't know. I can't focus or get things done the way that I normally can because my mind is so preoccupied with this. I'm so ready for it to be done. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think about the LA place and I feel like I should be more excited about it and I'm not. So that is kind of a sign to me that maybe I shouldn't do that or maybe I'm just nervous to live alone. Maybe that's it. Okay, well that is it for today. That's it for this vlog. Stay tuned to see what I decide. I'll be staying tuned to see what I decide. I don't even know yet. I think I know. I'm just like nervous about it. Yeah. Okay, well that's gonna be it for today and I'll see you guys in my next video.